All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Racha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well the overseas tabernacle of David. And Shalom to all the sincere believers and um, sincere listeners out there, man. Okay? So I just want to come to you, you know, a topic concerning privacy. You know, privacy, man, we've been, this is what we asked for, man, you know. <laughs> this is what we asked for. You know, shit is about to hit the fan. We clearly see prophecy fulfilling before our eyes. You know, we've been we've been prophesying of this uh, of these very events, okay? Because we understand that the the words and the scriptures of the Bible are faithful and true. They're going to happen, man. Guarantee. That's why we were that's why we was on the highways so boldly, you know. Uh for of course for the name of Yahweh Bashmi not not of not of our own selves. You know, but for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, okay? We clearly see that prophecy is unfolding by what? Martial law coming into effect, okay? Through the coronavirus. We didn't know how martial law was going to be implemented, but we knew it was going to be through something great, man, okay? And this coronavirus could very well be it, you know? This this coronavirus, man, can can start the impl implementation of the martial It will. You, it clearly, this 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 article certainly proves that, man. This coronavirus is going to start the implementation of the, the mar martial law. Concentration camps being set up in different areas of, of states. You know, the RFID chip, radio frequency identification chip, okay, that which is the mark of the beast according to the Bible, which are ought not to take, all right? All the, the coronavirus is, is having the stock market crash, you know, it's, 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 it's starting to have the stock market crash, you know. This coronavirus is heavy, man, you know. And now everybody wants to panic, but even even many are still not panicking because they're not taking this thing serious, you know. So this is uh, you see the article reads from the date February 18, 2020, U.S. military preparing to implement medical martial law due to coronavirus pandemic. All right. You see, it ain't gonna have it gonna have soldiers just like this coming down your streets, man. This to put an image in your mind. Okay, cause we got we hey we med we meditate upon terror, okay, pertaining to uh, Isaiah chapter thirty three verse eighteen, all right. And I don't have any scripts written down, but you know if I quote them, I quote them. If I get it, I get it. You know. It says, it says the Natural News issued an executive executive order calling on the United States Northern Command to start preparing for a full blown pandemic of the Wuhan coronavirus, also known as COVID nineteen. Here on American soul, because it's definitely going to touch here on American soul, man. America in the Bible is referred to as Babylon the Great, okay? Babylon the Great, man. It, 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 this place is falling right before our eyes. This place is 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 falling, okay? The so-called white man Esau is losing is losing a uh, rulership, is losing his his hold on rulership right now, okay? And that's all biblical prophecy, okay? This is all biblical prophecy, man. All right. Let's see what else it says. It says, I'm going to start in the middle of the of this paragraph here. It says, Defense Secretary Mark Esper has officially approved of the EO, which orders commanders to get ready for widespread outbreaks of the Wuhan coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. They also reportedly being told to prepare for having to forcibly, oh, <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this. It says, for having to force, forcibly, Confined service members with a history of travel to China, man. Hey, things about to get real, man. So that includes you Chinese over here right now. Of course, of course you're um, you're identifying the scriptures as Moab. Okay, so you Moabites, you know that been back and forth from America to China, from this place to that place, or cruise here to there. Hey, you gonna be the first ones they looking to capture, man. Okay, and this is all gonna be the judgment from the Lord, man. The Lord is controlling all these things, man. Even our lots, man. That's why we got to trust that the Lord directs our steps in our households, man. Pertain to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9, and uh, Acts, Acts chapter 16, verse 31. So our households may be saved, man. Okay? All they, you know, hey, they call on that name. They may be saved, bro. They they believe sincerely. They may be saved. You know? We got to have that faith, man. Okay? It says, you see, so that was heavy, bro. I'm just not seeing it. It says, they also reportedly being told to prepare for having to forcibly confine service members with a history of travel to China. <laughs> Look at this, man. This thing is getting real. 
This thing is getting, they're going to force, all right? That's part of martial law. That's part of Jacob's trouble in the Bible. A day none like it, man. A day none like it. For you know, for those that don't have no idea what's going on. This thing is going to hit the black, Spanish, Native Americans the hardest, man. All right? It's going to ultimately hit the world. We see that right now before our eyes, but it's ultimately here to hit hit Yahweh Bashmi Al-Shah's children, man. His rebellious children. Okay? Let, let me get that. Okay? Let me get that first Peter. Chapter 4, because these are heavy scriptures, even though if, if even if it may sound like a broken record, man, you people gotta understand this, man. Okay? And we understand it, and we understand it more and more as these days go on. You know? It's not, it's not nothing. This is not something we get used to as well. Hey, it's just we have an understanding, you know, and wisdom and knowledge and understanding will be uh will keep us stable in these times, man. Alright, so this is first Peter chapter 4, verse 17. It says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Okay, that should put fear in you people's heart, man. You know, we're going to barely make it. You know, those sincere believers, if we be of that number of the 144,000, you know, and the one third, barely, we're barely going to make it. So what? how much more so you rebellious niggas and nigger women out there, man? You know, you damn, you shit talkers and you just, you just proud as hell and arrogant for no apparent reason, man. This is the, this is the best times to be lowly and humble, bro. Okay, and hope that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will deliver you out of your situation. Okay, now let's go back to the article of this pandemic. It says, U.S. Northern Command has indicated that it is now directing the joint staff to commence prudent planning. Based on its assigned role to synchronize the department's various plans for hand handling a pandemic flu or similar disease. At the, at the same time, it also added that this plan did not necessarily indicate a greater likelihood of an of a, a event de developing. Salakia. All right. So let's get, you know, let's see what else to touch on. It says, um... Look at this, man. It says the military profession fosters a, a culture of planning and the fact that we are coordinating planning efforts across the geographical combatant commands is consistent with how we prepare to respond if directed. So basically, man, they're, they're prepared to, to hit the streets, man. Basically, is what, what's that's going into, man? They're, they're ready to hit the streets, bro. OK, they're ready for all hell to break loose. OK, they're ready. And that's prophecy. That is prophecy, man. Because what? Let me get that Jeremiah. Let me get that Jeremiah, man. Okay. Cause the prophets, the prophets, uh, prophesied of these very same things. Okay. This is Jeremiah chapter six thirty verse six. Actually, now and see whether a man do or travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned to paleness. So that's what Jeremiah Jeremiah saw in his vision, man. You know. That's what he saw. Man screaming like hoes, man, like like women that are that are in labor right now, man. <laughs> Imagine that. Your gladiators of this world, your idols of this world that you look up to. Crying like 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 punks, man. Okay, because the Yahweh Bashmi is not dealing with them, man. They received their consolation. Meaning they received their comfort. They had their comfort. They had their riches. They lived a, a lavish lifestyle. Okay? Verse, verse 7, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Hey, it was no time. It's not going to be no time like these times we about to see, man. This is the last days. The Lord's about to show you what he's been. <laughs> the Lord's about to show you what he can do, man. Okay? And that's for the evil times and for the, for the good, for his, for his servant's sake, man. Okay? And this is Jacob's trouble. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob names changed to Israel. This is for this judgment for the Israelites, man. Okay, but he shall be saved out of it. Those sincere believers shall be saved out of it. Okay, those sincere believers shall be saved out of it, man. All right. Let's see what else. Let's see what else this article touches on. It says part of this includes ensuring that all plans for containment procedures are assessed from response to isolation to quarantine. To restriction of movement. Oh my God! Look, look, look at this, man. We're gonna have—they're gonna have curfews for us, bro. On a, on that's on that's just on a low level. 
restriction of movement. Ain't no more cruises for 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 your plans out there, for your for your uh for your goals, your life goals, okay. For your picture boards, you know your future boards, whatever they call them, man. It says a community based intervention. <laughs> That's the memo, bro. They 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 letting you know, they letting us know what's going on, bro. You gotta read between the lines, okay? That's why we. That's why I'm bringing this out, man. This, this is important information to be aware of, you know? Cause the government not gonna tell you. They gonna they gonna give you a little bit of truth. They ain't gonna tell you the whole nine, okay? Hey, things are getting serious, man. Times are getting real. And shit is about to hit the fan. Shit is really about to hit the fan. It says. The restricted service members will be assessed daily for fever by medical personnel, by phone, or in person, or wear protective gear if they personally conduct the medical checks according to the messages. We already seeing this now. You know, we already seeing this now, man. It says they must seek medical attention, but call their military treatment facility first to inform them of their travel. All right, man. But yeah, this is, this is, hey, we're in them times, bro. You know, we're in them times. These are serious times. And things are about to things are really about to intensify, okay. So this is Second um, Corinthians chapter five verse eleven. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness, okay. So the terror of the Lord, this is this and one act of terror of the Lord will be through martial law. You will see how terrible the Lord is through martial law. You will question your belief. In the Most High, <laughs> if you're not st- if you're not grounded in the faith, if you're not rooted, you know, if you've been bullshitting, it's going to show, you know. He says, "But we are made manifest to the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness." All right, hey, we trust in these scriptures. That's why we bring it out on a on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, man, nonstop until until that time is over, man. All right. We almost here, bro. Martial law is right around the corner, and these signs are being shown clearly. We, the apostles, elders, starting from the apostles, elders, a great millstone, been saying this. Hebrew Israelites been saying this, man, that martial law is coming. You know whether they believe it or not. You know whether they were just, just trying to sound good. You know, Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites been saying that martial law is coming soon. Hey, now we're in that time, man. Now we're here. You know, twenty twenty year of prophecy. You know what? What else? Hey, this is what we asked for. What else can we say, man? You know, prophecy is here. Prophecy is being fulfilled. Okay. Through, hey, I'm gonna end it off with um, Acts chapter 14. I'm gonna get Acts chapter 14, verse 22, because we're not saying we're gonna uh, moonwalk to the kingdom. No, man. We know it's gonna be hard, but hey, we gotta go in with confidence. We gotta go in with confidence, man. Why not? Why not, man? You've been teaching. You've been studying. You've been praying. Why not going with confidence, man? Why why not going to that day with confidence? Okay, this is Acts chapter fourteen, verse twenty-two, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must do much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. You know, do much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom? Because all Israel gonna be saved pertaining to Romans chapter eleven, verse twenty-six, but that's gonna be through the through the loins of the elect, man. You're gonna be reincarnated. Okay, you gonna remember how bad. That martial law was that was in Babylon the Great, which is America in the scriptures. You gonna remember? These people will remember, man. Cause it was gonna, it was a day none like it, man. All right, these are exciting times. There, these are still heavy times and evil times, man. Okay, but hey, you know if you if you a sincere believer, man, you should you should be good, man. Just, hey, what? Continue in the faith. Continue, continue. You know we almost there, man. You know I'm pumped up, man. We almost there. Okay. But you know, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was, you know, edifying and exhorting for the for the elect men, those sincere believers. I want to end out by giving all the glory and the praises unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach with wedding overseas tabernacle of David. Peace, love, and safety to the hopefully elect and their families. With that, I would like to say Shalom. A Bob, a Bob, a Bob, a Bob, a Bob, a Bob. Shalom.